Hey guys, how you doing? I've got a little adventure. This is my PSU uh, since I've run it on the Spark Gap uh, testicle with the uh, flyback, and uh, it's now reading 81 volts. Uh, it fluctuates actually, sometimes it's about 80, sometimes it's 82. And I was driving home tonight and I thought, do you know what? I'm putting the three primary slayer on it and I'm just going to see what happens. And I just fired it up just now. And uh, and uh, we'll see what happens anyway. But I don't know how long that's going to last. So I want you to be with me and uh, hold my hand until it breaks or blows up. Um, I've got the uh, receiver tower with the incandescent on the side. Um, I've been playing and I've put a rectifier on there, which came out of a microwave, a bit of overkill, but it, um, it bolts down nicely onto the wood and that, so it's easy to fix. But yeah, I'm not using the rectifier, so this incandescent is the same setup as I've done before, so it's in line with the ground. So the ground comes in somewhere, oh, into here, and then goes into the bulb, and then into the secondary. So there's another crop clip around there. You can see the secondary going in, okay? And it does light up. I reckon if I pushed it forwards towards the tower, we could probably pop it, but we'll see. Maybe we'll do that. Um, just quickly, this is an old board that was out of my old LG Plasma TV from a while back, and I kept hold of it. And that is the heat sink uh, with the three transistors on it. Um, that came off it. I busted it off and, uh, and salvaged it. And also, I'm about to build, you might as well see my list if you can see it. I've got like, the list that I'm, it grows and, uh, uh, and, and things get crossed off, but um, I'm onto ZPS and I needed two MOSFETs, two power MOSFETs, and it just so happens there are two on here uh, with a fairly decent heat sink, and I think they're in spec. And uh, I've been talking to Tesla Explorer, and he, he's been helping me with this. So I've got the circuit, I think I can do it. And uh, the MOSFETs, I think, are in spec. Uh, they're 700 volt, 7.5 amp, 1 ohm. So I, I think the guide says under 1 point something ohms. So we'll see what happens. Mine are the 700s, so the ones on here I'm salvaging are 700s. The 115 watts, the top one. Anyway, so that should be fun. So, let's get on salvage. I've got something to pull an arc. Um, quick is it didn't pull a big arc just now. So, I have literally, I just pulled one arc and switched it straight off because I just want you to be able to see this before I kill it. <laughs> okay, I'm a, I'm a little bit nervous. Right, um, let's roll, let's just do it. So, plug it in. And do we want lights? Yeah, let's keep the lights on for a minute. Okay, so uh, there is uh, a fluorescent up there. Oh, there's various things. That probably the whole bench is gonna come alive and the incandescent should spring into life. So, here we go. Incandescent's on. And let's see what sort of arcs we get this. Oh yeah, it reminds me of the uh, the other one, the other uh, three or four primary slayer. Okay, right, I'm not going to run it for ages, but look at it. It is just freaking out. Let's quickly do the incandescent. Let's see what. Oh my goodness! Look, as soon as I put my hand near the tower, crikey's. Well, that's crazy. Okay, I'm not going to move that towards the t this. Because I think it's just going to blow it. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, I'm glad you saw that as well. Well, I'm going to, uh, I want, really want to try this with the uh, the same top load. Where is it? There's an IKEA bowl. Here it is. I want to try this top load because we've kind of seen that on uh, the four primary slayers before and I've had it sort of flat out. So. I just want to see what sort of uh, arcs or uh, streamers, it might be only be streamers, will it be like a, a permanent arc <laughs> coming out the top. So that should be fun, I'll do that in a second, I'll tag it on the end or, or do a separate video. Uh, that was good fun, cheers guys, <laughs> I'll see you soon.
Okay guys, well I've got it set up with the uh, different top load on now. Uh, just uh, in addition, this is the, the mysterious pepper, uh, sorry not pepper, flower shaker top that's, uh, that I've been using as my top load on my transmitter and uh, and it works better with it. Uh, but yeah, anyway, right, so we have the free primary Slayer, we have the IKEA top load and we have the crazy broken PSU. And we need to plug it in. Okay. And then I need to grab hair and switch it on again. <laughs> I'm sure I'm having fun. I think I am. <laughs> okay, uh, stand back. Oh yeah, she's off already. It's gonna get a couple around it. Oh yeah, blind and Charlie. Okay, let's switch it off so we can have a bit more fun doing some other things. Anyway, I hope you like that. Um, and, uh, let's hope I can get a Variac soon and we'll get it really cranked up. Okay, cheers guys. Uh, thanks for your support as usual. Thank you guys. See you soon.